Hey what's up guys, it's Gene Pentland for Pentland Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to separate an STL into all of its individual parts. So here I have opened my new parametric coin sorter that I just released but I only released having one file that has all of the parts in it and not the individual parts. So all these are one file but you may not have a big enough build volume to print all these at the same time so I'm going to show you how to separate each of these into their own parts so you could print as many or as little as you want at the same time. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in some common free softwares, such as Slicer and Mesh Mixer. I'll have a link in the video description as to where you could download these. So what you're going to want to do is take the file and drag it into your slicing software. So as you can see, it's all one part right now. All you have to do is right click on the part, click split, and then that will split the whole assembly into all the individual parts. So now I can add or remove parts so that it can fit inside of my build volume and if say you want to save the individual parts on their own in case you want to print more coin sleeves for example all you have to do is click on it and then hit export STL and then save the file. So now I'm going to show you how to do this in Mesh Mixer. So as the same start take your file and drag it into the program let it generate the mesh. Now you're going to go to edit and then you're going to click on separate shells and that separates each of them into their individual parts and you can save all of these files individually and print them as needed. Thanks for watching guys. I just wanted to make a simple little tutorial on showing how to do this. A lot of people in the comments of my designs had questions or wanted just individual parts so I figured I would just show you how to do it. Thanks for watching.